Good morning. It is what time? 7.15 on Monday, October 30th, 2017. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So I have begun the stage in preparing for extra life where I'm maintaining kind of a, a simmering panic. Yeah. About, oh my God, this is going to be a disaster. It's going to be so hard. What am I going to do? It's all going to fall apart. And, you know, like, again, this is something I regularly discuss. It's similar to when I have some sort of a social event. There's a piece of my brain that tries, and tries to sabotage me by making it seem like I'm not going to have fun doing something that I know I'm going to have fun doing. So, at the same time, uh, it, it's, a, it's a reflection. See, what, I, what I've sometimes told people... Um, I remember back in like theater days and to to some extent uh, improv still uh, but when I when I was younger in school I did a, a fair amount of theater and one thing that I sometimes reflect back on is how uh, when some of my you know co-stars would uh, would be nervous or have stage fright or something before going on uh, I would generally feel that anxiety too but I guess I didn't show it in the way that people mostly expected. Um, and and so people would sometimes say, you know, I, I remember one uh, time someone saying, I you know, I'm so nervous to go on, but then I look and you're so confident, you're so like calm and collected and it makes me feel better. And I'm like, well, I'm glad it feels that way. <laughs> I'm glad it looks that way. Um, and I, you know, so it does, there's a, a piece of me that wants to, uh, examine the part of like, you know, well, what, what do I just, do I not react to being nervous in the same way that other people do? That's weird. Um, but no, that's not really the point. Um, I guess I, I, I also remember hearing one time someone said, describe me as having a quiet confidence. And I'm like, Gee, okay <laughs> um but yeah at the same time what was i what was the point of all this oh the point really just being yeah none of that was really the point the point was thoughts that i've had before about what it means to be nervous in advance of something um, while it can, of course, be taken too far to the point where it's anxiety and not helpful, to a large extent, when you are nervous or anxious about something, it's because you care about it. You know, and this reminds me a little bit of, um, shoot, what was that astronaut's name? Mike something, I want to say. Ah, oh, Canadian guy. Hadfield. Mike Hadfield. Is this my cat? I can't remember now. He wrote a book called The Astronaut's Guide to Living on Earth. And one of the things he has in there is sweat the small stuff. Um, and what he's talking about there, oh boy, I'm a little bit sweaty from outside. My glasses are fogging up in a very unusual, specific way. Um, what he's getting at is if you sweat the small stuff in advance, then you fix it. And then you don't have to sweat it because you have already taken care of it. As opposed to just not doing anything about it. Um, you know, and at the same time, like, it's always a balance, right? Because you can't do everything. And his situation in the space station is a little different than, um, you know... Most of the time, little things can be kind of left alone. This is very rambly today. Um, I guess what I'm really trying to conclude with all of that gobbledygook is that the fact that I'm starting to feel nervous about the extra life thing is a reflection on me caring about how it's going to go. And so the proper response to that feeling is not, Oh my God, what am I going to do? It is, yeah, I care about it. So let's continue to think on it and try to make it as good as it can be. You know, so like these little worries about like, oh, but what if this happens? I'll say, well, okay, 
So what if that happens? Let's talk about it. Like, what if um, uh, Luna takes a really time on, long time on her walk and it's that long against uh, across you know without the uh, stream and it's gonna people are gonna be mad because it's not continuous or something? And then I'll say, well, okay, but I've already got this you know Google uh, Doodle poll thing uh, where I know how many players I'm likely to have at any given time it's significant and not everybody's gonna need to take a break at the same time so what I'll just need to do if it's a stream or something is I'll tell the players that they need to cover for me for 15 minutes or something while I take Luna outside um, and I need to just if I'm worried about being hungry well I need to get snacks in advance and I need to probably proactively buy some healthy snacks you know, so I, instead of just saying, stop stressing about it, it's more a matter of, well, when I think about something that might go wrong, I follow, need to follow it up by thinking about, well, okay, so if that goes wrong, how do I fix it? Yep. So, all of, on that note, <laughs> if you want to see a Dungeons & Dragons adventure structured as perfectly as that five-minute discussion, you should check out my extras life, extra life, yeah, extra stuff for life. My extra life stream this Saturday and Sunday, less than a week away, tomb of annihilation. And you should pledge. And I'm going to include the link in the notes today because uh, my mom pointed out on the weekend that I hadn't uh, done that for a couple of days, and I realized, oh yeah, I need to keep pushing this, shoving this in everybody's face. It's temporary. So shove, shove, shove. Link, 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 link. Click it and pledge. Don't you want to help this party solve the death curse? Don't you want to help sick kids in the hospital? Of course you do. So do it. I dare you. Piece of my brain. What if nobody pledges? Me? Well... I'm going to push more people to pledge. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes. <laughs>